is slow, so I think they're gonna try to push it, right? If they over push it, they're the ones that are gonna be going down. If they uh, do it just right, then TSM, either they're gonna be super low, or, uh, or you know, they're gonna be going down. So I think there is gonna be a lot of action on top. Well, on the bottom lane, Tino, it might be first blood, will be first blood. Tomato didn't even look at his kills for the Fire Storm, goes for the Atrophy Aura, and all of a sudden, this Broodmother, well, might be cooking a little bit as Abeng tries to come in with a Firefly, but the damage coming on to Palos again with the Fire Storm, it's just a little bit too much. There is going to be a Fade Bolt, Telekinesis there as well. Sane, does he want to go for the chase? Telekinesis comes through. Palos going to try and keep himself Don't alive. Matter. Does he get himself away from this one? The Blood Grenade comes out, but it doesn't matter. Ari, he gets the kill to him. Oh, it doesn't look like he can get the vision on him. Now he eats himself through the trees. Palos is going to be caught. Fade Bolt comes out. Insatiable Hunger will be here. Firestorm now as well. Palos, one more right click. Sane is going to be able to get himself another kill on the board. And this is before the Vanguard. Now when they get the Vanguard, it's going to be an even bigger disaster. Yeah, how do you really... Rubik, he gets those boots. He's going to be a little bit faster. And Abeng, he's still trying. Night Vision now as well. But Ari's going to have the vision to chase him down up the cliff. And Abeng, he's running. He's running. Primal Beast even coming into this one. They drop the ward. They should be able to, will be able to get the kill into Bryle. Oh, this is the best possible thing that could have happened for them. Because Bryle, he was somewhat struggling. Bob, though, maybe he has gotten some bonuses here. He might be able to get the kill onto Ari. Bob, level 6, so he does have those remnants. Gonna be able to get the kill onto Ari. Rotation comes through from Shanks, and they have the lockdown. Primal Beast takes the arrow to the face, and it looks like he might be able to get this revenge kill. Bryle, does he go down? Trying to get himself away, but the chase comes out from these remnants now, and Bob in the lane. Siren Chains gets the kill. Arcane will remember. That's the thing, and the second they got that Batrider kill, they needed to bail, but Bob was there. Really, really nice is done by Bob. Ideally, you get that kill on the uh, on the Primal Beast and you get out, but this this Ember, this is the one hero that Execration are going to have to rely on throughout this game. Yeah, and we'll see. I mean, top lane, he might be able to get the kill onto Palos. Palos is pretty down low now as well. Ari's going to try and do what he can. No onto the, Bro the Broodmother. Does he get one more right click to get the kill? It's not going to be enough. Those one charges again, keeping a live rotation. Ari will get it with Fade Ball in the end. And Briar will take out, gets the kill under the pressure in the bottom lane. But can he get anything from this one? It looks like they're able to be able to get the jump onto the Brood. Brood going to be taking a lot of damage from this one. They've got the lockdown. They should have the kill. Uh, they're chasing the uh, Terra Blade, but Tomato, I don't think he's going to die from this. Okay, I mean, level 6 has a point into the sun. They're going to be able to put the pressure onto Bob here. And Bob, does he want to carry on going? He's got They're those bottle charges. Yet, yeah, tomato though. Underneath the tier 2 tower chain, so they do fly through. Arrow's going to connect. He's nice. going to go down. And that's going to be a clean kill onto tomato. Oh, that creep was very close leading the arrow. And then maybe he would have survived a very nice rotation for execration. But this is a disaster in the Terra Blade on the side of TSM. Yeah, I mean, how much gold did he give up there as well? Give up, what, over 500 gold. They're going to be able to get themselves a kill onto the Batrider now as well. Utilizing those twin gates to bounce back and forth TSM between the lanes. And they're just finding kills wherever they go. And then you're going to find out the limits. And now he always does just as much as he can. Yeah, and we're going to see the back lines now as well. The five nice. do come through. There is going to be a pit of mass, and Ari's going to survive through that one now as well. He's fine. Rise, they have the damage. They're going to be able to get the kill onto the Broodmother. The Broodmother goes down. Bob just gets himself a double kill onto both supports. The Doom as well onto the Terror Blade. That Metamorphosis is about three quarters of the way through. He doesn't care about the Doom. He's just going to carry on going, Bob. Do they get the kill? Bob's going to try and get himself away, but Kasani does get the kill. And yeah, Tomato just shrugs off that Doom. He's still got that Sunder to go as well. So if he does catch a hero out, he's going to be able to get himself back to full health. This is the boot, but he also gives you this global presence. <laughs> And what can Execration do maybe to split this one? Is it like the split pushing like this? We're going to see the dive in. The Fiend Gate comes out, though. If you have enough damage to get the kill, there will be the Brutal the being taken down at least as Kasani will get this kill. And then once you've got Tomato as well, as Kasani just pushing up onto Rax on the high ground here. And the Batrider or Batrider is going to be so careful. If there's going to be a jump in, it's seen by the Observer Ward, though, on Ari. And Ari won't be able to make a move. Maybe they get themselves onto Bryl with the slide of fist. They throw out the Doom. They should be able to get a quick kill onto the Primal Beast. But it just creates space to put a whole lot of aggression onto this tier 3 tower in the top lane. And in fact, it might just fall. It will fall. And now that they're able to go, they're going to be able to drop that bit of Palace. Bob, did he get enough damage on the kill? They're going to be able to get this last one now. The drive back to now to the Underlord, but the Underlord already has that pipe out. No Doom left. He gets hit by the arrow now as well. Can he get himself away? Kasani, he's going to be so slow. He's going to be in slow motion trying to get himself away from this one. But he's just absorbing all the aggression. Even the Sunder tomorrow, though. He has that Aegis, throws out the Sunder. He might go down the once. He's keeping Kasani alive. Do they have enough to get this kill? In fact, it might just cost both of them their lives here because tomorrow he doesn't run himself away. Metamorphosis comes out. He's going to try and do it. He kind of gets Shanks. Shanks takes a whole lot of right click damage. And Pylos, he pops up BKB. Why not have himself in the tree tomorrow? He gets low. Will he be taken down twice? He will. He will. 
Now the buyback comes out under Lord. He wants to get himself right back in. Telekinesis locked down onto Palos, but Palos, he has those webs. Can he get himself up onto the high ground? The arrow flies through, connects onto the chamber. Bryle, he's up there on the high ground. He gets the kill onto the brood in the brood. He really forced this out on the side of TSM. I don't think they needed to. And uh, I don't see why Execration shouldn't fight. Yeah, well, we're going to see why they might not fight here. Bomb pops up BKB, still a lot of damage. Tino is going to get pretty down low to the Primal Beast here. Tino's trying to get himself away with that Hurricane coming through from the Wild Wing. Ripper stolen spell. Shansky gets low. Abing trying to do what he can to help out his teammate. But it looks like they might just lose a lane of racks from this one. You've got the, the TB coming up in five seconds there as well, but no outpost secured on the dire side. So he's going to do it the old-fashioned way. TPs himself to a tier two. You want to force TPs to the top, and then you can switch to bottom. Okay, Moonlight Shadow comes out. Abang's going to go down here, and Ari does get the kill, but the Twin Gate's going to be used. They're going to try and come out. Tino, do they have enough to spot him out? They do. They have the reveal at Tino. He is going to be That's the first, the second victim, excuse me, as the Batrider's already dead here. Yeah, Tomato. Ooh, they've got the pit of Malice. They have that control. It looks like they might give the kill over to the Terrorblade as well. Uh, the Penitence with these TP illusions is just so <laughs> much damage. He doesn't even need the meta with the amount he's doing. And Bryle even trying to clean up some spiderlings there. They will get themselves away, but uh, Murata back lines. They have the vision, they have the control. They should have this kill. But maybe not the leap onto the high ground, though. Maybe the neutral is getting involved here. Shanks with a double leap away. He's even going to be able to use this bullwhip, but the blink forward and Bryle. Bit of trample damage to come out, and he will get. Well, we'll see here if he's going to be able to survive again as TSM. They are stepping up to the high ground now, and. Damage. It's just the illusions now as well. The pulverize. They've got the lockdown. They get the kill onto the Bat Rider. Ah, that's huge. He does have a buyback, but the, the second he buy back, uh, buys back, you know that they might be committing for a fight. So it's it's gonna be a lot easier. Yeah, they've got the lockdown. Telekinesis into the pit. Mars here. Bobby pops up. He gave me the damage. What? It was just way too much. And Bob, he just disappears from my screen. It's great. Ah, just the perfect timing for TSM, and they're gonna go in again. Yeah, they want to go. There's going to be the BKB coming out from Primal Beast. Did he go into this Batrider? The Batrider tries to get himself away. The Force Staff comes through, but they still have this kill now. Ooh, Harpoon drive back onto Bryle, but Bryle, he is a big boy. He's even got himself a Reaver. The Doom comes out. Hand of God. Going to try and go for the heals. He might be able to get the kill onto Kasane. Kasane, he will go down. Did he go for any more? Tomato Flame Break pushes him further away. Ari trying to run himself out. Has that Blink Dagger to safety. And he might even come back in. You're going to see the uh, Tomato just dropping the, the reflections now as well. And again, the damage. But do they have enough to get the kill? The Stolen Doom onto the, the Broom Leader. They do. And now they might even be able to go into the Bat Rider. Bat Rider trying to get himself away. Drops that lasso. Tomato, though, he gets that Sunder off. He's going to be able to survive through this one. They get the kill onto the Doom. And it looks like the damage is stacking up for TSM. They might be able to clean up in this fight. But Tomato is going to be careful now as well. Again, no Aegis. He didn't go for the Rose just yet. And they do get the kill on the Bat Rider. But they're going to lose three. Is it going to be four here? A Beng trying to get himself away with the Glimp Cape in those trees. But it looks like they want to go for this Marana Shanks. Trying to run himself out of it. Doesn't matter. Can't get himself away from the grip of the Rubik into the kill of Brian. You can play around the tier 2 tower if you want and you'll take as long as you want but you will be losing your base as the other two lanes push in and now they're going to be able to get the pull rise onto the Bruno. Do they get the kill? Palos, he's got that BKB going now as well. Do they have the damage to get the kill? Palos, he's getting pretty darn low. Tomato gets that one and now the lasso, the solo lasso into the M3. They've got the lockdown, they've got the kill. They've got two cores down. They've got the GG. And when I when I met you, I was like, okay, British people can't play Dota, but Ari is a god. He steals the Doom, he now saves uh, Bryle with the lift up, takes him over the cliff so he doesn't die to the Doom, and he also lasts the, uh, uh, the Ember Spirit and they get the kills.